As 52-year-old arsonist Randy Lynn sits in jail, the mosque he set on fire in September rebuilds. Over the last few months, Muslims at the Islamic Center of Greater Toledo were forced to hold prayer elsewhere, while children took classes at Perrysburg High School. Damage to the Islamic Center took about six months and a million and a half dollars to repair. But for the first time today, kids and teachers were able to step back into the classroom. <laughs> Little ones weren't shy about how it feels to be back. Uh. Having a party, mm, playing. Teachers say it's been a long road to recovery, and they're thrilled to be home. Now, really, uh, coming back to the center, even the children are very excited to be back home. This feels like home to all of us. And a couple weeks ago when I told them that this week we'd be back, they said, great, back to our own playground. <laughs> so everybody, everybody has something to look forward to. After suffering severe floor damage from the fire, the prayer room reopened in March covered by a temporary carpet. Worshippers are excited to once again hold prayer at the Islamic Center. It was like, it was good. It was still kind of sad because it's like not the same as it was before, but it's nice that like we have it back and everything. Regular school classes will resume on Monday and these kids are excited to learn. What did it do? What did that snake do? Did it eat the other snakes? Yeah. The Islamic Center still has some construction and repairs left to make but the bonds with its community are officially back together. Eric Wildstein, WNWO.